This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says a jet takes four hours to travel 1,200 miles westward against the jet stream. If the rate of the jet is 400 miles per hour, what is the rate of the jet stream? So if you're saying to yourself right now that I probably need to use the distance formula or some variation thereof to solve this one, uh, you're on the right track. Again, the distance formula says distance is equal to rate times time. And if we go through this question, we can see that we have a time of four hours, a distance of 1,200 miles, and a rate of 400 miles per hour. That said, we're going to have to make a modification to the distance formula to account for the rate of the jet stream, which I'm simply going to call J. Now, the jet stream is like a river in the sky. Jets that fly against the jet stream slow down and jets that fly with the jet stream pushing them actually speed up. So let's think about how we're gonna modify the distance formula. And again, that jet stream ultimately is gonna affect the rate at which that jet is flying. In this case, the jet is flying against the jet stream. So the jet stream is actually gonna slow the jet down. So I'm gonna express that algebraically as R minus J. And of course, that's gonna be times time. So let's go ahead and plug the values in accordingly. We know the distance was 1,200 miles. We know the jet was traveling at a rate of 400 miles per hour. We're going to be solving for J, the rate of the jet stream, and we know it flew for a time of four hours. All right, so let's solve this equation for J. To start, let's divide both sides by four. In doing so, this crosses out. Uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 1,200 divided by 4 is 300. And of course, we're left with 400 minus J over here. Again, to get J by itself, I'm going to subtract 400 from both sides of the equation. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving me with negative J over here. Uh, 300 minus 400 is negative 100. Of course, we're solving for J, positive J. We have negative J here. So to make this positive, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this says j equals negative 100 divided by negative 1. Again, a negative divided by a negative becomes a positive. Negative 100 divided by negative 1 is positive 100. So the speed of the jet stream, as you can see, is going to be b 100 miles per hour.